In 1960, before he became a scientist with the U.S. Geological Survey, Gene Shin began chronicling conditions at seven coral reef sites in the Florida Keys. What began as a hobby, he continues today, having established an unprecedented 50-year photographic record of changes in coral reef conditions throughout the Caribbean. Shin started exploring a new way of measuring coral growth at Carey's Fort Reef without removing corals from the water. It involved inserting stainless steel rods into the coral as a reference point so that he could measure how fast the coral grew up around it. I started this work putting stainless rods in coral heads in 1960 and thought it might be a good idea to take photographs. I didn't realize what a good idea that was at the time. This passion for coral turned into 50 years of photographic documentation. His images show five decades of changes that have taken place in both the size and the types of corals that were present at Carey's Fort Reef from the early 1960s to 2010. Shin's images capture the appearance of coral disease that began in the late 1970s. Unfortunately, coral reef growth and structure continues to deteriorate today. Shin has similar photographic records at other sites throughout the Florida Keys. At a site known as Grecian Rocks, he documented the die-off of staghorn corals that were prolific until the early 1980s. It started to die in the late 1970s, but most died between 1980 and 1988. Historically, throughout the Caribbean, coral death started in the mid-80s, and from then on, there is practically no more staghorn. Soft corals, like gorgonians and sea fans, have taken over. Shin's images create a visual record that documents changes that have been observed throughout corals in the Florida Keys, as well as the greater Caribbean. Today, researchers continue to monitor the health of coral ecosystems and study likely causes of changing environmental conditions. You can learn more about coral reef research and see the individual underwater photos at usgs.gov. Thanks for watching. The Coastal and Marine Geology podcast is produced by the U.S. Geological Survey in St. Petersburg, Florida, Department of the Interior.